Zach Veach has made big contacts in the turn two area on the south end of the course. Be ready to go with about five minutes left, so that would be my best guess. Here it is. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Looks like he tried to correct, and that's uh, not something that you do. The car's going to turn right into the wall head first. Wow. He was losing the back end, tried to correct, and luckily did hit mostly sideways instead of going straight in. Second impact's going to be very hard. Wow. So unfortunately, a lot of work to do for the Foyt team. Well, full credit to Firestone for coming here with great tires as Veach has a huge moment going into three. Yeah, he's into the wall. wall. He's There's up the with first the yellow. Yep. So now we get a chance for everybody to reset on a pit stop, make some changes. Right side, please. Been Watch him more here. and more aggressive, deeper into his rookie season. Gets a big wiggle at this point, Paul. When you're up into that light gray, no grip. Not very hard on impact, so I wonder if they might have a look and put him back out on track. Well, I think if he can stay in his position, he got loose right away on entry. Like you said, he's in the gray. Ooh, pretty hard hit, but it doesn't look like he's broke. Pagano now needs to now save fuel. He can't let Rossi go. Oh, we got a crash. And that is what Pagano needed when he was in the lead. Sebastian Bourdais is in it. Sebastian Bourdais, Felix Rosenquist, Zach Veach, Charlie Kimball. This is huge. Pagano needed that to happen about five seconds beforehand. Bet you we've got an onboard of that. Here's a different angle. Oh, look at Bordet's car climb. Veach is into the wall. Andretti gets through. Dixon gets through. Kimball doesn't. Rosenquist doesn't. Harvey does. Action. Rosenquist came on way too hot. Look at this. Oh, it's a big hit for Zach Veach. Massive rear impact. Ferrucci threaded the needle and then cut through the grass into the wind of the warm-up lane and avoided all of that. But he's got a youngster who wants to make his mark in this series and in this IndyCar world. They're jumping out of line. There's a collision. Rossi, uh -oh. Pagano, Andretti, Carpenter. Ask you. Oh, my goodness. Very late start, and everybody was oh. keyed up to go. It looked like a bunch of cars jumped out of line and ran into the back. Look at what happened here. We're walking, uh, watching Simon Pagano there. These guys in the back here start jumping out real quick. Oh, oh Palo went Pato. first. Yeah, no, it was uh, Askew. Askew. Askew ran into the back of Pagano and kind of started the whole thing. He I know, but Palo kind of got the jump, Paul, jumped out of line. And Pat, there goes Palo. There goes Pagano. Now Askew comes in, in to follow and has to jump on the brakes. And so it was three cars that thought everybody was going. And it all checked up, accordion 